Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! I'm jumping up and down. That's me right there. Oh, oh, I see you. Mm. Follow me. We have to go up this ladder. Oh, I'm right behind you. Mm. Oh, open your parachute. Push the parachute <laughs> button. <laughs> Push the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> oh. Oh, hmm. hey, don't forget. <laughs> we need to take out the trash. Mm. Yeah. It is getting pretty stinky in here. <laughs> How long have we been playing video games? I don't know, since we were like seven years old. No, I mean today. How long have we been playing today? <laughs> well, 30 minutes or so? Mm. More like three hours. Oh, well, time flies when you're having fun. Oh. Look at this place. It's a mess. We really need to clean this place up. Oh, I don't want to clean up. I want to play. I'm with you. I don't want to clean up either. But what if we never took out the trash? Or clean the floor. Or wash the dishes. Or, or cleaned out Pat's fishbowl. Or never washed our hands. Or never clean, clean the, the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, life would be pretty smelly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. We need to be more responsible. Okay. I know what we need to do. First, we need to set a goal. Mm. What is the goal and when should it be completed? Well, the goal is to keep the house clean. Mm -hmm. And that goal should be completed every week. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna start with washing my hands. <laughs> That's something we should do every day at least three times a day. You remember the hand washing song, right? Why don't you sing it with me? Oh, I'm washing my hands, I'm washing my hands. You're washing your hands, you're washing your hands. I wash them on the bottom, mm -hmm. then I wash them on top. Hi, hi. And then we count to 10 and stop. All together now, uno, dos, dos tres, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All clean. Okay, I am going to clean the floors and clean Pat's fishbowl every Monday and Wednesday. Mm. And I am going to wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. Ooh and clean out my backpack <laughs> every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, okay, got it. Well, this is a great start. Mm -hmm. You know what time it is. <gasps> I'll race you to our seats. <laughs> Hi, Captain.
Captain Hope. Hi, Mr. Zoe. Hi, Pat. Look, it's our friend Leslie. Hey, Leslie. I brought you a present. Wow, look. Radishes, my favorite. Oh, did you know that radishes taste a little peppery and are crunchy? They can be white, pink, red, purple, or black. Hmm. They are so easy to grow. In fact, I have some in my own garden. You should try them. They're delicious. Are you ready to learn? Good, because today we are going to use our voice. Better yet, we are going to use our voice. <laughs> our voice is so important to us as human beings because it can help us be powerful. And also, our voice can help us be creative and explore new ideas. So are you ready to use your voice today? All right, let's begin. Now first, we have to warm up our voice. And since our voice is a part of our body, let's stretch. Let's lift way up, stretch it really tall, really tall. Lift your arms all the way up. You can go up on your toes if you want, really tall. And then make your feet flat because we're gonna go to one side. Ooh, very nice, artists. Now I'm gonna let one hand rest on my head and the other hand is gonna find my ribs. Do you know where your ribs are? They're these bones in your side. I can feel them with my hand. And our ribs protect our lungs, which is where the breath originates or starts. So while we're over to the side and a nice stretch, we're gonna take a deep breath into our ribs and lungs over there. Here we go, deep breath. And let it out. So nice, one more time, artists. Deep breath. And let it out. Let's reach back up to the middle just for a moment. Reaching very tall. Ooh, I even like to go on my toes. So tall, feel it stretch long. Bring your feet back down. Let's go to the other side. Very nice. I'm gonna find my head and also find my ribs. Oh, it feels so good to stretch to the side because we, every day as humans, don't get to stretch to the side very much. So it's really important to do it sometimes. Let's take a deep breath into our lungs and feel our ribs expand. Here we go, deep breath. Let it out. One more deep breath, feel it in your lungs. Letting it out. Beautiful. Let's bring it way back up for just a moment. And then all the way down. Good work, artists. All right, artists. Now we are going to put our breath together with our voice, and we're going to warm up our resonance. That's a big word. Resonance. Can you say it with me? Resonance. So resonance means the feeling of vibration that we feel in our face or in the air around our face when we make a sound with our voice. For example, I can feel resonance if I hum. Can you try that with me? Can you feel all that resonance? I'm gonna try it also by putting my hands in front of my face because I can kind of feel the vibration against my hands. Let's try it. Here we go with our hum. Can you feel that? Now I wanna try using our hum to push our hands away. So as our resonance gets sent out, I'm gonna take it farther and farther away and see if my hum can go way out far away from me. Here we go, taking a deep breath. Let's hum. <laughs> wow, my hum went so far away. Could you feel that? All right, I wanna try one more thing with our resonance. I want to reach way back, and then I wanna send my hum so far away from me like I'm throwing it out like a ball, and I wanna see how far it can go. Let's try it. Reaching way back, taking a deep breath. Let's throw that hum. 
<laughs> wow, that went so far. I could feel it coming out towards me. Very nice work on your resonance, artists. The last way I want to warm up our voice is I want to warm up all those facial muscles and our articulation, which means how clearly we say our words, by using a tongue twister. So this one is really simple. It's just four words. It goes tick, tock, tick, tack. So be careful that the tock and the tack are different sounds, right? Let's try it together. Tick, tock, tick, tack. Very nice. Can we do it faster? Tick, tock, tick, tack. Can we do it faster? Tick, tock, tick, tack. A little bit faster. Tick, tock, tick, tack. Can we do it super fast three times? Tick, tock, tick, tack. Tick, tock, tick, tack. Tick, tock, tick, tack. Whoo! Can we reach behind us and throw it far away just like our home? Ready? Reaching back. Deep breath. Throw it far away. Tick, tock, tick, tack. <laughs> I love the way that threw so far. I could feel the power of your voice and your clear words. You are such excellent voice artists. All right, artists, now that our voice is so warmed up, we are ready to use it to do some fun, creative work today. And today, we are gonna practice using our voice by saying a line. Now, a line is some words or a sentence that an actor says when they're telling a story. So, we're gonna use a really simple line today, just a simple sentence. We're going to say, I love radishes, because we already know all about radishes, right? Let's try that line together, ready? Deep breath, using our nice big voice. I love radishes. Ooh, can you try that again with me? I love radishes. I want to try throwing it across the room too. Let's reach back, take a deep breath, and throw it out ahead of you as far as you can. I love radishes! Whoa! Wow, okay, we really have that line. Now that we know what we're saying, I want to use that line and try to become different characters with our body and our voice. Now you probably already know, but a character is a person or sometimes an animal in a story. So if I'm an actor, I might pretend to be the character. If I were telling the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, I could be an actor pretending to be a bear who is the character. So we're gonna try some different characters today. I wanna try first becoming a character who is very, very old. So can we try first moving our body like someone who is very old? Let's see what that feels like. I walk around very old. Oh, maybe my back is hunched over. Maybe my back hurts. Oh, yeah, I can see that you're being very old. You might do it differently than me, but I'm just gonna move around. Maybe I hold my hands or maybe I have a cane. I'm gonna move like a very old person. And now that we're doing it with our body, let's try saying our line with our voice. I love radishes. Ooh, let's try it again. I love radishes. I want to do it a couple more times. Let's just practice. I love radishes. One more time. I love radishes. Whew, all right. That was beautiful work, artists. I am so excited to see you jumping into a character. Isn't it fun to try to become someone different with your body and your voice? I noticed that my very old character was very hunched over and moved very slowly, and my voice became kind of raspy and small and kind of quieter than my normal voice. So I think those are the things that my imagination came up with to portray a very old character. Maybe your imagination came up with something different, and that's awesome. Now I wanna try a different character. I wanna see if we can become a teacher teaching their class. So first, let's explore how a teacher stands and how a teacher moves around. What does it feel like if you're a teacher walking around your classroom, just surveying your students, walking and seeing how they're doing? And then let's try using our line and seeing what our teacher sounds like with their voice. 
I love radishes. Ooh, let's try it again in our teacher voice. Here we go. I love radishes. Wow, I think we could even explore what else our teacher might say. So if I were a teacher in a classroom, what would I say about these radishes? I'm gonna explore that. Class, today we are going to study radishes. I have a whole book on radishes. It's very exciting. You're gonna learn so much about radishes. And then we will take a quiz, but you will all do excellently because radishes are very exciting. Let's just try our line a couple more times in our teacher voice. Ready? I love radishes. Oh, I'm gonna get my students really excited one more time with our line. I love radishes. That was excellent, artists. So my teacher voice was a lot like my teacher voice right now. It's right here in my chest. It's very strong. I'm ready to get my students excited. And my teacher movement was very strong, walking around very upright and enthusiastic. Maybe your movement and voice were different. But that's okay, we're all creating our own characters. The last character I want to try is a king or queen. Who? So what is a king or queen? They're a, a very important person. So I'm gonna try moving my body like a very important person. What does a king or queen look like when they move? I think they move kind of slowly, very serious. Maybe they wave to their people, hello people. And I think that they would talk in a certain way. And so I'm gonna try saying our line. Can you try it with me? I love radishes. Ooh, let's try it again. I love radishes. Very nice. What else would our king or queen say about radishes? I'm gonna try some things. Attention everyone, I love radishes so much that we will have National Radish Day. That's right, a national holiday just for radishes. Please bring all of your favorite radishes to the Radish Festival tomorrow. Let's just try our line two more times as a king or queen. I love radishes. Once more, I love radishes. <laughs> All right, my king or queen made me feel kind of silly because I somehow have a very deep voice when I'm a king or queen. I think that's what my imagination comes up with when I'm trying to be a very important person. And my body moves very slowly and seriously. Maybe your king or queen was different, but that is okay because we're all creating our own characters. All right, that is all the time we have, artists, which is unfortunate because I wish we could do more characters today, but I am excited because I'm gonna challenge you to create your own characters. I think you can come up with some different characters than we even thought of today, or you might do some of the same characters in a different way you might come up with a different line to say that's not about radishes at all. I am so excited about what you might come up with to portray with your voice and your body. I'd like us to do some closing breaths today just to settle us down and finish up our time together. And I want us to try leaf breath. This is a breath that was taught to me by a student named Diego, who's an awesome artist. So let's try it out. We're gonna use our hand as our leaf and when we breathe in, our leaf will go up, and then it will just float down as we breathe out. Let's try leaf breath three times together. Ready? Here we go. Deep breath in, our leaf goes up. Letting it out. Let's do it again. Deep breath in. Letting it out. I like to watch my leaf as it goes down. Breathing in, leaf up, and then going down. Wow. Artists, it was so lovely to be with you today. Remember, we are all artists with gifts to share. Thank you for sharing your gifts with me today. What a wonderful class. Thank you so much. We would like to share a hat with you. Pick whichever one you want in the hat tree. Oh, I get to choose a hat. How awesome. All right. I think 
I will choose this one. Yeah, I like that. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Oh, could I have some of this orange juice? Thanks. That was a great class. Mm, I learned a lot, mm -hmm. as usual. I hope you learned a lot too, friends. You know what time it is now. It's time for our awesome rules. Be kind. Be grateful. Do art. A, a lot. lot. Stay curious. Drink water. And breathe. breathe. <sighs> hey, let's go for a walk. Great idea, friend. Hooks. It's the Hopester's band practice. I almost forgot. At the end of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful heart. At the end of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful heart. At the end of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful heart. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful life. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful life. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grateful life. Smart Breaks is a production of Hope Stone Incorporated. Funding for Smart Breaks was provided in part by the Keating Family Foundation and the Brown Foundation Incorporated. Mm -hmm.